we're here with Jim Campbell, the executive director of the Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation, to talk about the new scholarships that are being awarded at Sun and Fun. Could you tell us a little bit about those scholarships? We had this marvelous conversation last year with John Lights Leanhouse, who's pretty good for a Navy guy, who, of course, uh, ran Sun and Fun up until April 11th of this past year. Uh, extraordinary fellow, and boy, what a character. But he volunteered to be the first to re-energize the Bob Hoover Scholarship Program, which in the past had spent several years putting out $25,000 scholarships, two at a time, to every Riddle graduates. We're changing the regime a little bit this year in the process of building up uh, something dedicated a little bit more to flight training. Be two $10,000 scholarships to start, more to come. But uh, Sun and Fun, and now under Gene Conrad, stepped up in a big way, and we could not be more thrilled because one, these folks care, Two, these folks matter, and three, they know how to get it done. So this is fun. The other big development for Bob Hoover is the Hoover Society. Could you tell us about the Hoover Society? So the Hoover Society is the germination of an idea about building an ethical professional backbone through a combination of awards to folks who are doing it right, who may not necessarily be the kind of people who get credit for it, about setting standards for people coming up the ladder, and about providing guidance and education. We have this massive treasure trove of information and intellectual property from Bob's life that tells such great stories about a life well lived, even with the challenges that he faced, wars and corporate and air shows and then the FAA. So having all this gives us the ability to build a real life living historical education program. Pretty excited about it. So of course you've just mentioned that Bob Hoover was a fantastic human being. He was also a fantastic aviator with lots of records and memorabilia. What are you doing with his records and, and likeness? Well what's nice is that uh, Bob thought very heavily about what was going to happen when he was gone. He had a small group of friends around him to set up the foundation. He endowed the foundation with everything. In other words, his likeness, his, all of his intellectual property, all of his documents, awards, photos, so forth and so on, they are now being caretaken by the director of the San Diego Air and Space Museum, Jim Kidrick, who's a stunningly gifted guy, a longtime friend of Bob. He has cataloged, there's so much memorabilia and the nice part is, is we now have a safe place for it. We're digitizing things and we're making sure that everything that Bob left us will be saved for future generations and the, we'll have the ability to inspire aviators of tomorrow, the day after that, the day after that, and so on. Well, we're looking forward to that future. Thank you. Anytime.